Hello, Collective. This is your progress reading. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides, for your inspirations, your guidance, your wisdom, your protection, and above all, your presence with us. Let's get right into this. The first one that popped out here for you all was the seeker number seven. Notice the exposure, right? It's about being vulnerable. The meaning of life is to seek ways to give your life meaning. Doing so with gratitude, patience, and compassion for both yourself and others. Okay? So giving your life meaning means being vulnerable, opening up to what really is important for you. We've got the ruler here coming out, number 13, which goes to a four. Sometimes you must create and defend boundaries to protect yourself from the invasive or otherwise inappropriate behavior of others. So you're being called here to while you're being vulnerable be an adult about it okay be an adult about it and understand that you have to set boundaries okay higher self stop longing still your mind and allow your higher self to use its into infinite resources to comfort and guide you to the fulfillment of your desires so you're also being told here okay to calm down. How do we tune in? We get grounded, right? How do we progress? Well, with insight. How does that happen? We have to tune in. We have to be grounded. We have to be calm, okay? You've also got track down your fears and desires here and dream and journey. So for some of you, perhaps you could be doing, um, or you're being kind of called out here to do whatever ritual or whatever you do when you're up in your monkey brain, Right when you need to tune back in and get back in touch with yourself here, because um, in order to move forward here, we have to be the hunter. What are our fears? What are our desires? We've got the King of Pentacles coming out here, looking at this Nine of Swords. I feel like a lot of you have been gaining clarity, whether you understand this or not. Okay, that King of Pentacles is in your present position, so. You guys might not even realize it, but that's the energy that you're carrying and holding here. Um, whatever this Nine of Swords is, it's causing you to kind of get stagnant here, to not move forward. This is in the unexpected position. There might have been something that's come in for you recently that you just didn't understand is what is causing an obstacle for you. And it's okay. You just need to take the time to process that is what I'm hearing. We've got the five of wands in the immediate future. And we have the nine of wands as a potential outcome card. So, <coughs> excuse me. Let's get some clarity here. I feel like you guys don't even realize that you are this King of Pentacles. And we've got this Queen of Pentacles here. So what this is showing me, <laughs> okay, my beautiful collective here, is that you're not seeing how far along you've actually come. That's why it's so important to really take the time out for self-care. Come from a higher perspective here. Okay, we're, we've a lot of us have already understood that this is kind of the process, right? So what is this Nine of Swords all about here? Some of you, this could be, you know, this could be a, um, you know, a situation, a partnership that you're dealing with. For a lot of you, I feel like this is your energy. Okay, we're all trying to integrate that divine feminine, that divine masculine into whole, leveling up, right? Into the higher self. Okay, um, for some of you, I feel like you're done with the drama. Okay, because you understand that it's holding back your opportunities here. Give me some more insight on this. Yeah, you're starting a new beginning. This is all about, you know, new beginnings are always a risk because we feel vulnerable, right? We're, we become seekers instead of, you know, rulers. And you're being called to balance that out here. But that's what's stopping you from moving forward here. Okay? Yeah, we've got the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess. All right? And as I said, the five here. You know, five is conflict. You've got it upside down in this position here. You're understanding that you need to get away from the conflicting energies here to come into this nine position. where you, and, and, and you're feeling overwhelmed. 
and you're being called out here to show yourself some love and to get back into your intuition. Oop. We also have a six of cups here. Okay. So basically this is showing me that you need to tune back into love flow here and your intuition and that this is going to balance out and it's going to grow. This is the only card in the deck that has flowers. All right. Let's get some clarification here. Yeah, you're healing. You're healing. And it's, it's something in your emotions that has kind of turned you upside down. Okay, which is understandable with we, a lot of us, even if things, even if one aspect of our lives is going absolutely great, there's all these emotions swirling around right now. We're coming into the end of 2022. I do feel like you're going to be moving forward here. Okay, this is about understanding that you are creating your own obstacles. It's your monkey brain. You can get free at any time. Some of you, I feel like you're trying with this healing card, you are actively trying to heal and not just uh, push forward, right? And I feel like you're going to be embracing this full card here. Understanding that the divine has your back. As long as you're doing the work, you don't have to worry. It's okay. Everything's going to be okay. You're putting the drama behind you. Okay, somebody's leveling up. They're deal doing inner child work. Like healing, maturing, okay? Some of you might be dealing with somebody uh, that is, you know, that's around you, that's causing this, you know, causing this energy around you. I feel like you're going to understand, you're going to be on point, you're going to boss up. And we've got this King of Cups coming in here, okay? So you're showing two different partnerships here. You're showing the King and Queen of Cups and the King and Queen of Pentacles, all right, as well as the high priestess, okay, we've got a king of pentacles coming out here as well, this is telling me there's going to be celebrations, you're going to be moving forward, and you're going to find this place of contentment that comes with the stability and practicality as well as the love aspect here. So, I'm going to pull one more card here for you, my progressive people. My people in progress, as all of us are. The mystery, number 52, which also goes into seven. Fall in love with the unknown is what I'm hearing. Okay? Understanding that it's an adventure. I mean, when you look at this pathway, doesn't this look beautiful? Okay, do you see danger around every curve or do you see, oh my God, I uh, look at this flower or I might find this beautiful clearing or a lake that I can swim in or a stream or how are you looking at the world? Okay. Yep. See, can't make this up. Perception, number six. How are you looking at the world? Again, what do you see when you look at this picture? Do you see beauty? Do you see the shadows? That is your interpretation, right? This is what's telling you what you need to be thinking about. Yeah, high priestess, discernment, prescience, prophecy, and vision number two. This is your energy here, okay? The water fairy popped out upside down, emotions and feelings. So this is telling me that you need to apply some of this adventure spirit into your emotions that this is the only thing that's going on it's about maturing it's about leveling up it could be you dealing with another person having to learn how to be tactful having to learn to respect another person's journey here um, having to put in put up those boundaries and separate a little bit okay i hope this has been helpful please take good care of yourselves take care of each other and as always be kind out there